Hi, this is Keith Foote with Footloose. Thanks for tuning in to my very first episode of The Adventures of Footloose. What this episode is going to focus on is my preparation for our next really super adventure, which is traveling the Great Loop. The Great Loop is a boat route that circumvents many of the eastern United States. To do this, it takes several months, and so it takes a little bit of planning. I'm going to cover some of the things I'm doing to plan. I'm also going to cover some of the organizations that I would highly encourage you to join so that you can get accurate, up-to-date information. And I'm also going to talk about some of the things I'm doing with my 22-foot Sea Dory Cruiser to get it ready. And at the end of the video, I'll be sharing an inspirational quote with you, so be sure to watch it all the way to the end. And if you like what you see, please be sure to subscribe and like the video and also click that little balloon thing so that uh, every time I upload a video you get notified. So let's get started and also may all your seas be calm. Here's my planning table formerly my pull table, but right now I need space to do a little bit of planning. One of the things I keep hearing quite a bit about when I do my research is, is don't get hung up on keeping a real straight uh, or strict timeline because this is boating and weather is really going to depend on whether or not you go or whether or not you stay. Two of the organizations that have been most helpful to me uh, getting things organized and learning what I need is uh, the Great America's Great Loop Cruise Association. I highly recommend that you uh, join this organization if it's something you're thinking of doing. Um, and the other group that has a wealth of information is the Sea Brats. And below in the information section, I will give links to both of these organizations. Now, the Great Loop technically starts in Chicago, but I'm going to start my adventure at, uh, in Hudson, New York. And I'm going to go down along the Erie Canal and down through uh, Lake uh, Erie and then Lake Huron over to Lake Michigan, down through Chicago. And I'm going to cut a little bit east uh, towards Tennessee, and I might just uh, go over to Chattanooga. I've got some relatives over there down into the Gulf of Mexico. But of course, I haven't really decided yet whether or not we're going to cut across Florida or go down through the Keys. All that's going to be weather dependent because everything that you do here is weather dependent. Now, I work well with having some type of a theme. And so one of the things that I am doing is lately I have been collecting uh, the U.S. National Parks. When my uh, two boys were growing up, I got them uh, passports for all the national parks, and uh, <laughs> I didn't get one for myself. And so I bought one for myself a couple of years ago, and I've been working my way through the national parks. And so this is what I'm going to do going through the Great Loop, is hitting some of these national park uh, that are along the route. And there's quite a few of them. And so uh, I'll also have links for the National Park Service as well as links to the individual parks that I visit. So this is part of the planning that I'm doing. Welcome to Footloose's home. Well, we're getting ready for our trip for the Great Loop. It's currently uh, early October 2022. And uh, the plan is to uh, do the Great Loop beginning in mid-May 2023. Uh, I got a few things I need to do to get ready to go. Well, actually, I have a lot of things ready to do ready to go. One of the things I have for, uh, I cruise in the Pacific Northwest. I'm up in Washington State. And currently for my uh, runabout, I've been using this photo boat which is good, serves its purpose, but I'm not sure if it's going to work really well for the Grand Loop, mostly because a uh, single person getting it up above uh, on the racks, pretty much impossible. 
the uh, so I might be looking at other alternatives. The other thing I want to look at is my anchor. I'm not sure if I have a large enough anchor to really sink into some of that mud that's out there that I've been reading about. The other thing I need to uh, mount my spare tire on my new trailer. Uh, I'm going to mount it right here so that it the tire is just right in this area here. That's about the best spot for it. And uh, a couple other things I need to do to get ready to go is, of course, she needs a good cleaning. You know, I got to give her a good wax. This is, by the way, it's a 1007 Sea Dory, 22 foot cruiser. Uh, I purchased this back in 2007, and uh, we've had some really good adventures with it. I have uh, two engines I have a uh, Nissan 9 and 9.8 horsepower. And I also have the Honda 90, which has been serving me real well. I've got the equalizers in the back. I'm thinking about putting one of the uh, uh, equal those fan things for uh, trim tabs on my big engine, thinking that that might be more fuel efficient than running these tabs down, creating more drag in the water. So if you want to give me some feedback on that, that'd be great. The two concerns I have that I'm working with is uh, fuel, because we have a couple spots where there's really not, you know, there's, I've got uh, like up to 130 miles if I decide to cut across the Gulf, and I believe there's another section where it's almost 200 miles without fuel. And so right now I have uh, two 23-gallon tanks for a total of 46 gallons. And I don't think that's going to be enough. So uh, right now I've been reading up on the different configurations people are using to call extra fuel. And so uh, the electronics, I have a Garmin um, that works really well out here in the Pacific Northwest. I'll also get a couple of the other types of things, uh, other apps involved with uh, uh, navigation. And... Uh, Probably all, all, all I've already downloaded is a couple of the weather things. And so anyways, this is uh, Footloose getting ready for our grand adventure. Hi, this is Keith Foot. Welcome to my first episode of The Adventures of Footloose. Our next adventure is going to be traveling the Great Loop. The Great Loop is a uh, boat route circ circumventing around east the east. Blah, 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 blah.